Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and, uh, <clears throat> sorry, just a little, little frazzled, uh, just, you know, one of those long days at work, and, and uh, as wonderful as last week was, it was a little crazy, so, uh, time to, time to go over a couple of things, because I, I haven't had much in the way beforehand, but I, I did check off a couple of items on the list over there, we'll get to that in just a minute, uh, <clears throat> Actually, no. Let's start with that now. So, I will knock down these signs. I've also added some signs. Um, Piglin Trading Hall is done. We were working on that on the last live stream. And if you remember, at the end of the stream, it was just a matter of shuffling 24 Piglins into their 1x1x2 one by one by home. Um, that, got, that actually happened afterwards. So, that... Piglin Trading Hall is done. Uh, let me pause that real quick. Automate Cocoa Harvest. That, that's been one of those things that I've talked about since uh, since I started the second floor second floor area. So let's uh, let's go take a look at that real quick. I I didn't I didn't save this for on stream because it, it was more of an idle idle thing and I. Nothing, nothing super advanced is here. I did need, because of piston push limits and uh, space for other redstone, I did have to make the wall for the cocoa beans just a little bit smaller than I had intended to. But it is all set up, so all you got to do is uh, push the button, and there's the beans. Cool beans. And each button does the same thing, so it's not like there's a different button for each one. Now, if you're patient and you let all of them grow, you'll get a stack and eight more cocoa beans. So, you'll get... Uh, I'd like a bigger wall, but this is a bespoke, bespoke local farm. I'll build a bigger one later. I still wish there was a way to automatically uh, plant these guys, like with a dispenser or something like that. <coughs> Yeah, that, that would be kind of nice. Let's, uh, let me toggle the camera real quick and let's go behind the wall. Because again, this is, this is some very, very simple redstone. That block right there, as a part of the unloading system, is why I had to narrow that out. Because if I had the pistons one block closer in any capacity whatsoever, that block which is required for this whole unloading system for the melon pumpkin farm, uh, would not have allowed this side to get harvested. One block. Uh, so in the interest of making everything fit in the space available, that's, uh, there it is. I also had to change that to glazed terracotta, so that way the sticky stuff doesn't stick and do unfortunate things to everything around it. Likewise, that's why there's the brown glazed terracotta on either side of the jungle logs. And uh, this is very precariously placed over some pistons that are very precariously placed over alternating rows of... Space. Uh, over alternating rows of slime and honey blocks. Yes, this was my biggest issue, was space, because I, I've, I've got none. Uh, everything is packed in about as tight as can be. And I'm actually kind of happy about that. Um, so you push the button there. That powers this guy, which powers this guy. And fortunately does not interfere with anything else. That does light up the redstone, which powers the glazed terracotta. Which causes the pistons to push the wall out. And then when the button releases, it releases. Um... The way this is set up with the repeater there, instead of any other method I might use, is so that way the power for the pistons doesn't interfere with the loading and unloading, and vice versa. And it's just the same deal on the other side. Likewise, because of all this for the uh, kelp farm, I had to move this side in a little bit either. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had room for the redstone. Uh, so there that is, tons of glazed terracotta abounds because space 
and I, I accidentally moved a few things with the sticky uh, with, with the sticky blocks, the slime blocks, and the honey blocks. Uh, kind of forgetting that. Uh, yeah. So there is that. I at least have the auto harvest. So if I need uh, cocoa beans and the wall is ready for harvest, run up, push a button. They bolt. Both buttons do the same thing. And I'll at least get the cocoa beans without having to knock each one off the wall. I suspect I'm losing out a little bit on efficiency. Because if I remember right... Uh, a fortune axe, as opposed to the silk axe I have on me. A fortune axe might get you more cocoa beans. I'd have to double check that. It's been a couple of virgins since I last looked. And, um, yeah, I don't know if that's changed or not. So, there that is. Nice little fun small redstone project done. Um, <clears throat> also... Also, also, uh, I, ha I, I had to go fix a little problem with this guy here. I, the, this is so slow, so slow. Don't, don't be in a hurry for mushrooms for these guys. It was fun to build. I might build this up in the nether though. Like build two or three of these guys up in the nether. I don't know for sure, but I think the mushrooms grow faster in the nether question mark so that that would be something worth uh worth checking out um i found out the hard way that mushrooms will grow where you least want them so you see where i now have a stair under under the uh the wool under the observer and all that uh that <laughs> that that is because i i had to um the uh oh bother i just when i thought i got them all okay all right i'm gonna have to go back there and throw down some more gray carpet because those guys were taking up the spots just in front of these guys and mushrooms will not grow if there are five mushrooms within so many block radius so this was not producing anything not just slowly not anything because there were two mushrooms up under there uh, okay, let me go get some more great carpet, and uh, and we'll, we'll we'll fix we'll fix those little problem. Okay, uh, and then we'll get back to the other items on the wall. All right, is that great? No, that had to have been light gray. All right, let's just you know what, let's not even play around, because right. this is a pain in the butt to get to. I. <sighs> I, I pack these in so tight, I don't have a place to put a door to get back there. I may I may have to put a door up top? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to find some place to uh, to go find a, uh, find a home. Yeah, so behind those guys, I, I, had to, I had to get rid of spawning spaces for the mushrooms. And it looks like that's going to have to happen further. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and we'll carpet everything that is not an actual block. All right, that, that's got the rails and whatnot on it, so nothing can happen there. That's going to have blocks on it. Uh, that's got the scaffolding. We're, we're just... I'm so tired of dealing with these mushrooms. I want the farm. I want the results of the farm. I don't. I don't want to have to keep throwing out carpet everywhere. But uh, as that great philosopher once said, you can't always get what you want. Never mind. <laughs> Let me go get some more carpet. I, I thought I had enough. Uh, we all see what thought did. And I don't know why it's the brown mushrooms. Oh, and if you haven't seen, um, so a while back, Mumbo Jumbo made, oh, okay, I made a mistake there too. Um, that's why there was, gray, I was like, why is there gray wool? Because that goes in the wall. 
Uh, Mumbo Jumbo made the world's saddest slime farm in in, uh, in in the in the swamp, and the idea behind it was good. Oh, because I got the hidden armor stance under there. Those things are they look pretty, but they are a pain in the butt. I just wanted I just wanted something there to remind me when I'm going poking around on this side of the farm that those are cacti and uh, yeah I get a little too clever for my own good I, I might come back through and get rid of those uh, anyway <clears throat> so saddest slime farm ever he just built a ginormous spawning platform in the uh, in a swamp and that's pretty much it you know, to uh, throw down, throw down some uh, spots, some kill chambers for the for the slime to wander into, because slimes are literally one attribute smarter than a uh, armor stand. <laughs> uh, that 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 will never not crack me up. The difference between slime and armor stand is one attribute. And it's not intelligence. Uh, <clears throat> all right, uh, there we go. Alright, let's see how that goes. Anyway, uh, Doc... Doc M has been building in his area, which is bordering up against where Mumbo has been building, uh, and he wanted to kind of kind of take over the area that Mumbo's uh, slime farm is at. And he started talking to some of the guys on uh, Sycraft, and the long and short is they kind of discovered that. You can make a swamp slime farm very early game with some of the most basic materials um, that are phenomenal. Like, they still don't have the production of your standard slime chunk slime farms, but not by much. Not by a meaningful amount. Uh, and, and it's early game... And, and it, it's like super easy to do, and it just takes a swamp and a and a tall AFK platform, and, and so we might start seeing that style of uh, slime farm in the near future, uh, popping up everywhere. Uh, also, also, I redid the arch over here a little bit. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I might, uh, I might pop these up into a little more arch-like arch but uh that's that, that's not a now problem that's a later problem uh you'll notice that one of the other things i checked off there was easier access to the redstone because there have been times that i've had to go back back here to troubleshoot i wanted a door that didn't look like a door and i spent a little time looking for a pufferfish player detector after three pufferfish, or no, four pufferfish and three of my own lives, we have a pufferfish detector door by S. Martin or Smartin. I'm not sure which. There is the uh, YouTube URL. He's got a pretty close range, so it, it's going to be hard to trigger accidentally. And that gives me access back here. I still want to push this wall back a smidge and put a couple of blocks down. On the top of the farm, probably even with the lamps, so that uh, I don't accidentally poke into the storage system and drop something in there and cause weird problems of any kind. Thanks. Appreciate that. So there we go. And uh, that, this, yeah, you, you really should check his video. It's surprisingly easy i i packed in a lot of yeah camera's not going to give you justice but 
basically there's a gold pressure plate um, that this cart is partially on top of. It is also partially in water so the puffer fish doesn't die. And when you get close enough, he inflates, which causes the gold pressure plate to puff up enough to trigger the door. And yeah, it's great. Uh, he was a pain in the butt. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I went through four puffer fish before I got him to work. So, you know. And so I got the uh, access to the back and all of a sudden the boxes have been working? Question mark. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I finished troubleshooting or not. I'm going to call that. A, I'm also going to toss my axe on the floor. I'm going to call that a win because I don't know. It's working for some reason. I don't know. And I've got most of this all sorted out now. I, I, I still got some stuff that I got to like, I might rearrange how many stacks of different things are here. Uh, I might rearrange the rocket so there's a little more space between them. Because it's hard to remember that those are flight one, those are flight two, those are flight three. Uh, and I, I guess some extra iron and ender pearls I need to go bring back to the main storage over at the castle uh so this is this is pretty much making progress i i forgot that i got that skelly spawner down below here somewhere and i was going to make a local skelly spawner farm for the bone meal um i've got my camels and a horse i picked up outside there I want to make a barn for them. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Napity nap. I've also been AFK, so it is a, a little more imperative than normal that I take a brief nap. Okay. Uh, I don't remember why I picked him up. I think I was over there farming some ice and I saw the donkey and the horse and so I grabbed them. They're over here. And I've got my two my two uh, camels. I, I need to name all these guys. Like, I don't know. If I call those Fred and Ted or something. Um, and I kind of wish you could put um, an orange something on this guy so I could identify him as mine too. Because, you know, they, they got the orange carpet. He's got the orange leather armor. Anyway, uh, I would like to carve out a little space in here. And build uh, an actual, like, barn-like enclosure. You know, maybe pull an overhang out from the mountain a little bit. But still have it clearly built into the mountain. Um, some sort of structure like that. So that is one of the items I added to my to-do list. Uh, you'll notice I added more signs than I took off. Uh, I, I have no idea where I got that habit. So I got the barns. I got the skeleton spawner. I'd like to put together a squid farm. I got a funny feeling that when Reyes gets back on the server hard, hardcore, we're going to need some more black ink. And uh, the, the, the squid farms that I've been seeing with the axolotls look super easy to do and that has never been the case before so I just want to see if it's as easy as it looks like to build a squid farm that doesn't suck uh, so I'm going to do that and I think I'm going to do it over where our mob farm is since people are going to be spending time AFK over there anyway might as well get uh, get the ink over there too I still need to get the Concrete Maker of Awesomeness, the Phantom Farm. I still got to finish the Sugar Cane Farms while I'm over there and decide on if I want to do a bulk kelp farm. I got to finish my part of the castle, finish the dining room walls and decorate it. I would like to get a gas farm together, but all the farms that I see require Wither Roses. And I'm not sure I want to go into... Uh, making making a wither rose farm just to get the ghasts 
Well, I mean, I could also use it for a bunch of other stuff too. Don't hear what I'm saying, but uh, I don't know. I, th those guys seem a little too a little too finicky for my tastes, and I I, I just I'm not sure that I want to go go do that. Um, <clears throat> I would like to do an Enderman farm just for the sake of having done one. I'm getting plenty of Ender pearls from the Piglin trading trading farm, um, but I mean, and we got plenty of XP without needing an Enderman farm. I just I just want to build one because I've never built one before. Uh, I do need to work on the mountain path from my back door there. And you'll also notice that I stopped putting two items on a sign because uh, it makes it easier to find out to check stuff off. Um, I want to put a I need a I need either a local mine down here or a route to the community mine from in here. So that that's one of the things that I need to do an uh, underground path to um, uh, let's it's not going to be that far. Uh, this room here where these guys still need a home. This needs a better home. Uh, this place. I, I want to go ahead and get an underground path there so that way I don't get shot by skeletons as I try to get safely from my place to there. Uh, I also want to move and improve the crop and animal farms and get a moss farm together because I want to start working with uh, more co mossy cobble, mossy stone, and moss blocks are way better and easier to farm than uh, vines. I... I I'm so happy I don't have to do another vine farm ever again to get mossy stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep some vines around in case I because they have their use. But yeah, I, I hated the manual farming on those. This can be automated, which I like. Uh, but yeah, the the I want to put crop and animal farms in that side. So we've got a machine in that wall, a machine in that wall. Uh, I want to get a the various protein farms. I don't plan on using them all that often, but I'd like to have them. So that way, if I ever decide to, to set up a butcher to trade with, I can't remember if the butcher gives you anything useful. Uh, well, I mean, other than emeralds. Yeah, no, he, he mostly just buys stuff from you. So he'll buy all the raw chicken, pork, and whatever from you. Oh, no, he'll sell you rabbits, too. Uh, but still, just... Because I'd like to get uh, all the animal farms to do something a little different than the two styles of farms I've ever done in the previous seasons, plural. So that's, uh, I don't know what that's going to be. That's why these three pigs are here. I still need to nab a couple of sheep, a couple of cows. I'd like to get a couple of goats just to preserve them. We used to have some goats hanging around the mountains here and they have mysteriously disappeared. And I'm a little concerned about that. I'd like to get a better beetroot farm. This th this thing does not work for beetroots. That, no. This is a sad beetroot farm. I gotta do something better for that. Same for the wheat. This is a sad wheat farm. I gotta get something better going for those guys. So those two farms will definitely end up there in a different configuration. These guys, uh, they actually, even even without pumping in the bone meal like I should be, uh, the, these guys do an amazing job. And so they're probably going to stay the same. Maybe get expanded out another villager or two a piece. Um, I, I do need to make sure that wherever I put them, I still have access for trading because that has been a good source of emeralds to go grab the melon pumpkin and just run through all these guys with melons, pumpkins. And I need, I, I don't know why I'm stockpiling this many potatoes and carrots. Um, I really don't have a good reason for that. So I need to start taking those up and adding that into the mix for trading too, to keep them from locking up as much. Oh, I need to go put another sign up. Uh, Iskal put together a really nice overflow protection on his villager breeder. And I would like to see if I can manage the same here. The basic idea is they've got to think that they can't get to those beds. And the way that will most likely work, 
I can probably do that uh, and move that up to the top a little bit more so I don't have that weird ramp in the middle of my floor. <laughs> so these guys I might be able to store up here and then and then run run something through. Uh, which will also make the, the whole minecart stocking situation a lot, a lot simpler. Uh, so, we'll see. I, so, I may have to clear those guys out and rework a couple of things to make that happen. Uh, let me, let me go, let me go add that sign. Uh... I just, I just, <laughs> I just put all this stuff away. All right, uh, overflow. Mm. All right, overflow protection on villager breeder. Yeah, and that's my to-do list. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I added like four or five more. I only took three down and just added one more to... The, ah, okay. All right. Let, let's get to the main attraction. Uh, I need to go to the nether. Now that we got the two farms that, that I really wanted to prioritize done there, I'd like to get a couple more going up there, but that, that's not a that's not an immediately now thing. That, that's a, when next the, the situation strikes. I want to decorate the two farms up there, and I thought about using a bunch of blackstone, but that's what I did in season one. And, and I mean, I can do it. The the piglins will give me all the blackstone I could deal with, but uh, I want to keep the dark nethery vibes, but not not make it completely monotoned out of blackstone. I could start doing a little bit. Uh, I could throw a bunch of deep slate in there, but I feel like I, I've used that a lot so far. I mean, it's a beautiful block, but I uh, I wouldn't mind doing something with nether bricks, though. But I don't know that I, I definitely don't have enough to maintain. And and again, uh, that that feels like a very limited palette. So I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what my options are. Uh, I'm even tempted to say, do do something like uh, the polished blackstone for a foundation, and then put a mix of nether brick and red nether brick on top of it. And that could work. That that could that could work. I know that that's not the most confident that could work you've ever heard. Um, that's a lot of that's a lot of nether brick. That's a lot of nether brick. Uh, and that being one of the other considerations, uh, I, I I've got some cobbled deep slate on hand. I've got a bunch of blackstone from the piglins already over at the nether. Uh, I, I could go for ironic and go grab a bunch of sandstone. I could even mix in some terracotta, but I, I don't think the terracotta is going to mix in well with a brick style deal. Uh, I also don't know if I want to throw in uh, uh, like a... Uh, I don't know if I want to like throw in some of the blackstone in with the nether brick. Cause that that just doesn't No. No. So monotone nether brick or 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 monotone uh blackstone or blackstone base and nether brick um uh, I mean, I could also throw in some nether rack in there. I could throw in some obsidian. We we got we got enough obsidian to decorate with. Uh, I what else could I do? Um, I'll put that away before I forget. I could throw in some raw nether rack, but that.
I don't know. That that seems like a bad idea. On a multitude of levels. Like the blast resistance of Nether Netherrack is uh sad. And, and that's just asking for something to get busted. Uh I could I could use some soul sand or soul soil in the mix, but I don't I don't think adding brown is, is gonna complement the color palette any. And again, we come back to that's a lot of nether brick. That is so much nether brick. So I guess let's do this then. Let's um. Let me. I, I've got a bunch of blackstone over there. Let me grab a um, an empty box and let's go ahead and toss in what I have for those guys. I'm going to need. Oh, I didn't. Where, where did all my uh, crimson crimson blocks go? I used them for potions. Okay, let me uh, let me go let me go head over to storage because I think we've got a bunch of them over there. Pretty sure we do. I'm like ninety percent sure we do. Did I really? Yeah, I must have. Okay. Huh. All right. Uh, before before I do that, I do want to go ahead and I'll grab what I've got for bricks. Uh, which is actually more than I thought. Uh, let me go ahead and grab some stacks of soul sand. And I'll grab a stack of soul soil on the off chance that that's going to actually look halfway decent. Um, I've got obsidian up there. I could throw in some magma blocks. Uh, let's... let's just grab a little bit of everything, shall we? Uh, oh, did I not have any more red? No. I am depressingly short on red at nether brick. And that's why I need the uh, the crimson or the nether wart. <coughs> uh, that should be everything I need out of here, because like none of those is gonna fit into into the nether theme in the least. Although I ought to add some diorite just for just for contrast. No, I can't I can't do that. I so can't do that. Uh, I might go grab some crimson stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Let me take some of... Some of what I have of the crimson. Yeah. And I'll take that with me as well. And I might just do the same with uh, this guy. I'll take some of those. I don't... Mm, yeah, I'll take half of what I got in the planks. I'll take some of the stripped. Let's just take that and I'll go grab the... I'll go... Oh. I'll take some of that with me too. Because I still got to work on, I still got to work on the uh, the stairs. I might need to spend a little time uh, working on the crimson lumber, but I need I need ideas. Uh, I could I could do blackstone and endstone bricks. Although I, I did that in the uh, I did that in the lighthouse. 
I mean, it worked out okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that. And I'm back. I could, I could use some quartz. We got, we got plenty of quartz from those guys. Um, I could use the calcite. Ooh, I should probably throw in, since I'm throwing in a bunch of the nether type stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, I'll just take the one stack of smooth. And let me go grab some more basalt. And just for kicks, I'll take the tuft. Tough. There's no T at the end. Tough. I don't know why I keep putting the T at the end. Alright, uh, so we'll take that and grab... Sure. Okay. And it's not like I don't want to know where to go to get some more. Um, hmm. Well, let's take a look. Uh, obviously, that side of coloring is off. Although, I wonder if I should make some black candles for this. The black wool is just not going to fit. That black concrete... That's not going to work. Uh, or not black concrete. Black concrete might be nice. Uh, black terracotta is not going to work. Um, I don't think there's anything in those grays that's really going to work. No. No. I could throw some copper in there. No. No, no, no. no. I, I think that about, that about covers it. Let me go. Let me go run off to main storage and uh, get uh, nothing blew up, right? Okay, no, just that guy burned. I gotta be careful. <laughs> not not everybody on my back door is uh, as friendly. Yep. Uh, project's got to get done, too. Uh, I also kind of added a couple other things to my... Unintentionally added a couple other things to my list, and I haven't gotten around to those yet, either. Uh, that'll be for another day, though. All right. Um, there's some nether brick over here. Let's, uh, let's grab that out of storage. And... Let's grab those guys out of storage, too. If I were rest... Nope, that's the nether rack. Um... Nope. Nope. There we go. Another work blocks. take all those guys. You know what? Let's take one more. Just to just to be sure. Um, I'll take some more of the wart as well. Let's get this crimson stuff uh, put away there. And I probably should have grabbed one more project box. Although I think that one's... Nope, that one's not empty. Why do I have a bunch of prismarine in there? I was going to do something with that. What was I going to build with the prismarine? Oh. Uh. <laughs> of course, of course. I don't know. I I don't I don't even I don't even know. I I Okay, uh, I got I got some bricks and stuff, and uh, you know, let, let's go ahead and uh, pop that warped there. I do I do need to I do need to spend a little time at some point and restock on my warped and crimson lumber. Um, 
Why did I have a bunch of prismarine? Oh, for the for the squid farm. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just I don't don't know. I don't know. I mean, I could really flex and start throwing some gold blocks in the design. <laughs> I might do that. But I'm going to have to go AFK for a little bit for that because uh, I don't think there's enough. Uh, I, I I ran I ran just short. Um, I ran a thought through my brain. No, I, I ran all the gold through the... Um, through the Piglin trading hall. Uh, yeah, I, I love not having to worry about whether or not I forgot my gold boots because there's no Yahoo in a boat over here ready to shoot you. Um, oh, good. We we got enough for uh, for a couple of for a couple of gold ingots here. Because uh, what I want to do is th this is so cool. So, you spend your time AFKing, getting levels, mending, whatever. I still gotta fix that. The the platforms are not... Those aren't right. That's not right. Uh, so, you go input your gold ingots. That gets evenly distributed amongst all the different deals. And flip the switch. And you see all the gold spit out. And they all go... <gasps> Except when you, when you fill it all the way up. They, uh... <laughs> They all are quiet for just that minute while they're looking at things. And it's just so funny to see the gold get dispensed over here. They all get quiet and then everything starts popping up because they have nowhere else to throw it. And then it goes uh, uh, on its way through here. It's glorious. It's beautiful. Uh, so, yeah, I need to, I need to finish hiding the uglier parts of this farm. I need to get myself access to to the top, though. Uh, that is one thing that was accidentally neglected, is I have no way of getting up there when I need to, and if we have time. Although, given that I've been rambling for the last 40 minutes, I need to rip out one layer so that way I can get some automation for this guy because there's just not enough room here to have that automatically turn on and off. And, uh, yeah, that, that's already empty from probably me. I think I was the last one up there, and I just haven't gotten around to, to restocking. Um, but I would definitely like to get that turn back on and off. Uh, I wouldn't mind having all four running though. I just uh, I, I just need to I need to figure out where the where the key is for the whole deal. Um, I also need to get one of those backgrounds that I can push the button so you see the the whatever funky TV meme worthy bit with all the math floating around my head as I try to figure out as I'm clearly staring and trying to figure out the redstone on this joker uh, <clears throat> alright oh yeah there, there was a little more a little more in there But whatever I do, I need to make sure I got a door of some sort, and I can't. <laughs> I, I can't make another pufferfish detector because uh, pufferfish need water to live, and this is the Nether. All right. Uh, so hide this. Need to make sure that it is not spawnable. Hide this monstrosity <laughs> and make sure it's not spawnable. Uh, that's the that's the real trouble. Um, I've got a little barrel here with the iron ingots from, uh, from the farm. I eventually want to craft up a bunch of anvils so that way we got those handy. Because they, they did come in handy many, many times before, uh, I mean, seriously, it's not like, uh, it's not like we've ever been that short on iron. But, uh, 
Yeah. So I haven't run it that mu as much as I'd like, but we've already got a sizable amount of blackstone. I did come back through and label all these. So we got our gravel and we got our spectral arrows. Uh, man, we, we have an embarrassment of arrows. So I might finally get off the infinity bow and, and go back to the mending bow that I generally prefer because we have more arrows than I could possibly know what to do with. Um, I will probably keep a shulker box full of arrows in my ender chest just uh, just to keep that squared away. Picking up some quartz. I already emptied the iron nuggets. Uh, although some of the... These guys are supposed to... Um, supposed to fill that chest first. But obviously they haven't been. Uh, same deal with the, uh, the soul sand and... See, I've got a few. I got a few bricks to uh, to work with here too. And then end of pearls and string. And I really wish you could use fire charges to fuel a furnace. Why? Why can you not use fire charges to fuel a furnace? Oh, medic! If you're watching, we we got some crying obsidian <laughs> and some regular obsidian. And more leather than, uh, yeah. Potions, potions, potions. And this is where the the boots and books would go. I stripped out the XP and tossed into the trash uh, a bunch of other ones. Uh, you know, using the this to rip out the XP when needed. And I left this brewing stand here as a finishing station. Because again, the fire potions are the short term ones. So I need to, I need to like get a stock of is it redstone, yeah, redstone to uh, increase the duration of them and maybe get a stock of gunpowder in case people want to turn them into throwable potions. Although I don't know why, seriously, that uh, we're, we're filtering those out and getting rid of them. And even though we had more potions than we knew what to do with in season one, I don't remember us ever using the, the splash potions um, except maybe as a joke. So, uh, I guess I'll just stock up a bunch of redstone over there. I need to integrate, so I need to integrate all this into a workstation at the end. I've got the trash that just sends things back up into that lava there. Uh, nothing, nothing too fancy. Uh, I, I did go with this setup instead of my normal setup because I wanted it to, to not constantly extend and retract it multiple times. Uh, I probably could have used some of those smart dispenser circuits up there as well. They, they would have worked just as well, but uh, yeah. Th this is what I got going on a couple of places. And yeah, I also labeled back here. So I know what's what. I, I've got a bunch of the redstone torches and whatnot lit under there and... I need to put I need to put a second access point to get up to the redstone back there now that now that I really think about it. Uh, what I might do is hmm. let's take a look because I, I want to get rid of this ladder and put stairs. That is, that is the thing that needs to happen. I've got more ender chests floating around. I got one up here. I got one down there. I got one at the other end. Uh, because. No good reason. Uh, I might put a stair or something like that up here. And then just run a vine down. Since uh, I, got, I got the crimson vines over here already. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, uh... Does it need to be... Actually, I don't know that it matters what, what it is. Except I got blackstone up there already. So let's go ahead and make a, make a blackstone stair and go from there. Um, probably not the first one I need. So I'll go ahead and grab a bunch of those. Grab some of those. And I need to... <laughs> I need 
to make sure that I put um, I put something over these boxes so that way I don't end up with uh, unexpected guests. I just realized that that could be a small problem. Okay, maybe I didn't just realize it, but uh, I definitely, definitely almost forgot about it. Short term memory, something or other. Alright, so I got these guys. Oh, that's right. I wanted to grab some of the weeping vines. Sorry, I, I don't know why I keep calling them crimson vines because they're red. And everything else that, that's a part of the red thing is crimson. Uh, I just want to have an extra, an extra way up. Um, I mean, honestly, if I just hit this thing with enough bone meal, it would go faster. But uh, I'll, I'll let that I'll let that grow for now, and then I'll hit it with bone meal at the end. But that'll at least give me a way up here from back there. I've got a way up here from there. Uh, let's see. Do do I want to? Uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, do I want to go ahead and go around the glass entrance? Yeah, I feel like whatever I do, this might need to be a blackstone tower of some sort. If for no other reason than most of that stuff there is blackstone. And I really, really, really don't feel like uh, rebuilding any of that. Just because my uh, choice of block changed. Yeah. Alright, I'll figure out how I want to wrap that around in a little bit. Uh, I, mean, I guess technically I don't need the I I only need no I don't need the walls. Uh, I do need to keep that there so it's easy to reach over. I tried doing a wall across and you can't see the chest and it's hard to it's hard to reach. So I'll do that. I want to make sure you cannot move the uh, cart. Oh. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. A, that I have uh, an extra shulker box. Uh, and B, that uh, I I need uh, I, I need some I need some black glass. I've got some black glass. I I should I should grab some black glass from. Uh, I've got, I've got to have some somewhere around here. All right, let me, let me see how safely I can make it back to the mountain. It, it is one in the morning over there, and I'm not going to sleep in the nether. Actually, let me do the smart thing. I would like to get some, uh path from there to here at some point. Yeah. Yeah, that's not filling up fast enough. I gotta do something. Oh, that's right. I was AFK here to try to get more zombie flesh, and it doesn't look like I'm getting as much as I thought. Which is weird. I, I guess. Uh, I guess that's going to have to be uh, the. I'll, I'll just have to keep harvesting that from the the nether farm, which definitely gets more of it faster. So that that's not the end of the world. Um, just when you're when you're trading with those guys, the the, uh, the zombie flesh goes fast because they they trade like thirty one, thirty two per emerald. That just takes that just takes a while. All right, let me grab my die kit and my box of glass. I need to top off my wool. Um, I need to take that over to the the wool farm and get that uh, squared away a little bit better. 
that I need to finish up uh, so that's not just a tree kit but uh <laughs> what was that was that fancy project where we're trying to they're, they're trying to preserve every possible seed uh, it's got a Swedish name uh, starts with an S I've never heard it pronounced I've only seen it written down probably because it's Swedish and nobody wants to try to pronounce it stairs there so that way I got something to, to put the shulker boxes up against uh, that's not that is not permanent those are not permanent I, I just wanted a place to stash my shulker boxes and it's easier to get them opening in the correct direction that way all right um Almost working on this, but I, I'm almost at that. Like I don't, I don't even know where I want to begin with this. Do do I want to do foundation up that far? Matter of fact, uh, let's do because I, I want to get them both in a similar vein, uh, and I don't think I want to use that smooth wall design it, as much as it adds a little extra depth. I just don't like the texture. Oh, did I leave that carpet duplicator running? I did. Is that... Oh, it's not even full yet. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and shut that off before I forget again. Uh, <laughs> so I think I might start with the same basic idea here where it's a row of stairs around this bottom bit. And then maybe one more row of uh, upside down stairs around and then and then do the nether brick from there up. That that helps me get a little bit more of the black stone in play. That gives it a little bit more of a foundation. Uh, I do. Uh, I do something. I don't. Oh, I want to get some cracked, cracked blackstone bricks. So let's toss, no, 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 not in the glass box. Uh, there's my random rust. All right, uh, let's go take care of that real quick. I'll grab four stacks, because I, I don't plan on using that much of it. Uh... Let's get those. That's right. They're polished blackstone bricks. All right. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go run these through the cooker real quick, and then this might just be an episode of prep instead of a full-on uh, <laughs> instead of full-on crafting, because I I am fading quick. And I haven't been on for half as long as normal. Oh, I got tapped out quick at work, so there is that too. What is really nice is how quickly this goes. Oh, you know what? I kind of forgot to check down here. Um, oh no, we only got the one glowstone. We only got a little bit of basalt there. We got some nether quartz ore, so that uh, that is good to know. We got some nether wort and... Oh, 
Okay. Nope. Never mind. I thought we had more stashed way down here. Uh, yeah. I'm not even. That's not even worth pillaging. That's what that's missing. This is missing some cracked blackstone stuff. All right. Let's. Uh, this. This should run. This should run pretty quick. <laughs> But I want to do something very similar to this with with the with the other smelter, and maybe maybe I just need to reconfigure it to something a little closer to this. But uh, I, I was going to have this guy looking at the furnace and setting up the carpet duplicator up there, but just trying to figure out how to get everything to fit. As uh, mm, that, that's that's not been that's not been fun at all. Uh, I've also thought about getting it to look at the, um, at the hopper, the hopper that, uh, everything's feeding into, but that doesn't seem to be working out as well either. Is that empty, empty? Oh, okay, good. I just, I don't know. Go, go one more time, just to make me uh, feel confident that you're well and truly empty. And we're already pretty close to two stacks. Um, I guess while I'm waiting. Because these guys, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's still not a bad source of XP. It really isn't. Uh, although... My main my main thing has been picking up string for various projects, even though I could easily go all the way over to uh, to the to the wool farm and just unpack the the wool into string, but the wool farm is all the way over there, and this is here, and that apparently makes all the difference. I mean, might as well pick up some XP while you wait for everything to cook, right? Although, that should be pretty close to done. Because we've got... Yeah, we're almost at the last stack coming through here. Yep. This should be wrapping up very shortly. There we go. Four stacks. All nice and correct. How was that for quick? Oh, yeah, I forgot that they talk. For some reason, I thought those guys were nitwits. Not nitwits. Uh... I, I thought I thought when I'd set up the the trader traders that they for some reason did not talk. That might have just been a, a weird glitch when I was uh, getting that set up. Yeah, this might just end up a uh, a prep episode. Let me see what else uh, see what else we need. Because we're gonna throw we're gonna throw some cracked in there, so that means we're probably gonna go. Oh, I don't think there's cracked stairs. But yeah, a adding just a uh, just a little bit more of that, and I don't know how far back the space here is gonna be. Presumably out to out to at least the the farthest bit of redstone. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna decorate that. Questions for the ages. Yeah, I get to double check. Are there are there crack stairs? I don't think there are. Where did my brick go? Oh, there you are. 
I mean, we can't be wasting it. We only got a barrel full of a bunch of it. <laughs> yeah. I might I might go back up there and have a... Go AFK and, and have a good think about that. Um, yeah. The, why, why, why no crack slabs and stairs, Moye? Hmm? Why can we not have crack slabs and stairs? We, we can have mossy slabs and stairs. Although, now that I think about it, you can have crack stone brick, but not crack stone brick slabs or stairs. Uh, we, we just need a we just need a parody update. <laughs> the 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 slab everything parody update. There we go. I'm sure I'm sure that would make everybody happy. For varying definitions of everybody, but I'm sure that would make uh, most people happy. Some people happy. A fair number of people are happy. Yeah, I'm not buying it either. All right. Um. This is such a daunting. Uh, this is the daunting bit. I just. Uh, I think. I think if I just get started, it'll be okay from there. Um. Blackstone, Blackstone, because I need polished brick stairs to run across here. So let's go ahead and we'll go polished brick stairs. where I once again kind of wish that there was a way to use the scroll or something to adjust orientation without having to worry about do, doing some Cirque du Soleil level uh, <laughs> acrobatics to, to, to make all that all that happen. I wonder how many of these I could... Uh, no, there's not enough of them to put the unique block on top. I, I actually thought thought about coming <laughs> coming through here with uh with uh some some uh the TNT and whatnot to break bedrock so that way in everything that had a block I could just put the block in the bedrock. So put a black stone right there, but then I realized I'd have to mob proof all that anyway, so Yeah that got that got that got scrapped awfully quick. Um I don't oh I need to go get fuel for that. What good is a uh what good's a brewing stand if you can't uh if you can't cook anything with it? Yeah, I like that better. I still need to extend out either extend out that double chest or figure out how I'm going to do this in a way that uh keeps with the original and I might I might take all those stations and put them here-ish instead and just have a little a little work table or a cluster of stations because I, I know why I have the stone cutter here. Uh, most of what you're going to need that for is over on this side to, to get all the blackstone taken care of uh, and maybe the quartz, but the quartz isn't that far away. Although then again, you're also going to need it for the nether brick. So yeah. Maybe maybe I do need to find center and put the the crafting stuff over here. And that would make decorating just a little bit smoother. Yeah. Um I kinda wish I had another way to do trash other than at the end there. Although it occurs to me that I probably ought to do the same over here, but I don't this isn't going to produce anything that's going to end up trash because it, it, it already trashes everything that isn't, uh, you know, we collect all the rotten flesh. Uh, I think I got that. Uh, yeah, I just recently came through to clear out a couple of shulker boxes of that too. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to get the gold, the zombie flesh. And once the zombie flesh overflows, it's now going into that disposal as opposed to in the fern eye uh, for clearing. So, 
Yeah, I guess uh, I guess we're not gonna have to worry about trash out of that. So it's just over here. It's just over here. Um, that I'm tempted to move that little way station there, but then again, everybody's got a compass tied to that lodestone, and the second I pick it up, everybody's compass is gonna become delinked. And I don't like that. And just because you're here doesn't necessarily mean you're going that way. You could also be going to the end portal or to there. And I kind of like having the the um, respawn anchor here as well as the lodestone. And having an ender chest nearby never hurt. Um, I should get some better potions of fire resistance though. And I should trade with my guys for some more glowstone so we can stock this up with a little more glowstone. I'm curious though, who put the milk buckets and why? Um, why why all the milk buckets? It's not like you're gonna get a, a, a the pillager whatever here. Or is this so that way we have a safe safe place to go do that? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, so yeah, you know what? I'm, never mind. I'm gonna leave that here. If there's anything else I should put there, let let me know. Cause I I dare say yeah, it's just gonna have to be uh I'll, I'll, how many hmm, how many incomplete words can I can I use in in one go? Um. I still feel like no matter what, the grindstone needs to be over here, though. Only because, uh, what, what else are you going to use the grindstone with? Uh, because the only thing you can use the grindstone with is to disenchant boots and books. So you're not you're not using it with the potions. You're not using it with leather anything. That's going to be crafting. Same with obsidian and fire charges, which I still think you should be able to use in a furnace. Um, not for string. Not for not for any of that. All right. Um. Yeah, having one of those guys is definitely going to come in handy. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. You guys get kind of cranky about that. Suck it up. Oh, hush. <laughs> that's right. They're going to be they're going to be all sorts of cranky now for the next little while. Just wait till I go move all those shulker boxes somewhere so that way they're a little more accessible for this project. Uh, all right, so let's see. We got four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. So that'd be fifteen, sixteen, seventeen for the center. Question mark. Did I not have a? Uh, I thought I had another. Another uh, crafting table. Because I could have sworn I had a crafting table over there and a crafting table over here. Did I already lose it? Did I already misplace it? No, I just never picked it up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I, I thought I had another one. Matter of fact, that uh, that also helps because now I can put the grindstone there instead of up there, and that makes everything a lot easier to access. All right, uh, so fifteen, seventeen, seventeen's my center. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen.
No, I probably want that. What, one more back. Yeah, two more back. So we get that up there. We get that up there. And if I add anything else, it's going to be one on each side. So let's put an anvil. No, let's uh, let's get the chipped <laughs> the chipped anvil right there. We'll get the uh, the regular anvils in here. Along with the irony. What else do I want to put over here? Oh, the, uh, uh an enter chest. Oh, come on. <laughs> then this is why this might, uh, be finishing here very, very shortly. Alright, um... Technically, that's not a full block. I'm pretty sure that's not a spawning surface. That's not a spawning surface. That is not now. I kind of wish I had something someone, something to put uh, on or under. Or I mean, I guess I can do that, but that just doesn't seem... That doesn't seem right. I'll think about that one. Uh, and now I get an extra barrel. Although I need to, yeah, because I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put a bunch of redstone in there. I don't, I don't think I actually need any more storage in this because that, that's just gonna be iron and anvils and redstone for for the finishing. Oh, and fuel because I I need uh I need to add a blaze farm to my to do list. <laughs> don't let me forget to add a blaze farm to my to do list. I'll, uh, I'll move all these later. Oh, I had more room in there than I thought. Good to know. Uh, I'll store all that in a little bit later. Yeah. So, since the brain is fried, I'm going to get a mirror design between both of those. A uh, blackstone, a polished blackstone brick base with some uh, cracked for accent. Um, maybe, maybe a couple of these guys here and there. Although I don't, I don't know that there's anything I need to do that with over there, except maybe that one. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. I'll think about that. Uh. And then nether brick, nether brick all the way up. Cause I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I got I got a fair amount of nether brick to work with. Now, uh, let's go ahead and where did I put the crimson? There we go, the nether wart blocks. Cause I can take that and start making some red nether brick. That's going to help this brick go just a little bit further, too. So that, that gives me two benefits. I get some red nether brick and... And I get these bricks to go just a smidge further. All right. But that, that'll, be, that'll, be for, that'll be for another day. As much as I want to right now, I... Yeah. That is... I'm fried. Oh, come on. One brick. I'm one brick short. All right, fine, 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 fine. All right, let me stand away from the noisy bunch over there. I'm probably going to go AFK up there to get some more gold so I can get, get what I can out of these guys. Uh, this is where I say thank you for having fun. Uh, thank you for having fun. Thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, I, I'm tripping over my own words a little too much so I'm going to call it a night a little bit earlier than normal Tuesday 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern or they're adjacent depending on how work is going and on Fridays 6.30 p.m. or again 6.30 adjacent 
Uh, Friday's a grab bag. Depends on what's available. I hopefully will get at least one of the two guitars I worked on last time done. I would like to have it done before then, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. So let's let's see who's available for a raid, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Um. No. Oh. Neither Axonim nor Beast Lord nor uh, nor Grimly are on. Let me just double check by searching. Uh, Because every now and again, they'll be live, but it won't show up on the quick pick. It'll just be a thing. All right, so uh, let's go raid Impulse, <laughs> since we're already watching some Minecraft. Uh, I'm going to hit the raid, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Stay for the raid.